Good afternoon, good evening, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another fantastic season of NYIT Cybears Overwatch. I am Guadarican, returning once again as the manager of Overwatch. And here, although you cannot hear him, is our new observer, Casper. Uh, and that is who will be spectating us throughout the season. So say hello to him in the chat. You guys might notice there's a whole new bunch of new names on the top right of that screen there in the red. That is the Cybers. The entire roster is brand new with a few people returning for their sophomore seasons and some with their junior seasons. But looking at the roster from left to right, we have a new tank in Unlogix, the DPS core in Lord and Dab Master. You might recognize Dab Master if you have followed the Cybers throughout the summer in the past. Super who is also a new support that was just added onto the roster not that long ago, and Pepin returning for yet another awesome season of Overwatch, this time in the support role as a flex. Let's get right into it as we play SNHU today, Five, week three of ECC, four, and let's three, see if the Cybears can remain undefeated. One. Round one, capture the objective. We are going to start here on Antarctica Peninsula as ECC is underway. We see a classic Arisa comp coming out of SNHU as Fives takes out Dabmaster and SNHU has started the game already. Logic is going to be able to take out Crim Run going in with the Genji trying to do some damage and even out the scoreline on Logix is going to be taken down by Fives. So SNHU is now up with that Bastion putting down a ton of damage. Pepin is about to drop. Will he be able to stay alive? He's able to get out. It looks like SNHU is going to be getting first control of this point here. SNHU going with more meta approach here. NYIT still trying to figure the kinks out right now, but they are confident in this Doom dive to see if they can try and get into this. SNHU taking the high ground on the right. The NYIT looking for an opening here. Looks like Unlogix is going to get in, do some damage, but no real contest right now. It's kind of just back and forth. Bastion now in turret mode, about to get punched out at the top. Unlogix is going to be able to take out the support and gamer tag. Crim Run's going to be able to take one back, but Deadmaster is going to be able to get another one on Bastion. It looks like they're going to be able to come out of this fight with the win but it is not over until it's over and that point flips around. Looks like Prim Run is also going to be going down to Lord. Dab Master is going to be able to take out Dean and it looks like NYIT with the full team kill is going to be able to take the point back. 40% going over to SNHU. Lord is trying to do some more damage to the SNHU back line. Will he be able to get out with 50 HP? He's going to be able to actually get out here. SNHU has the window and it looks like you get an early pick. Pepin caught out of line. It's gonna be taken out by fives. A lot is gonna get burned down to almost nothing. We're gonna get a few alts coming out from both sides. That master is gonna try and do what he can with that soldier and alt. Not gonna be able to get much. It's actually gonna get taken down and that's two down for NYIT as SNHU quickly and decisively on the back of a beat is gonna be able to flip the script. Pepin going down really early there actually gave SNHU the way in without really having to put down much. Now they have the window to be able to put down along with the Bastion ult. We also have five ults, four ults, and here's Path on NYIT. Let's see SNHU. Pepin once again is going to go down. I don't know what's going on with this Kiriko, but a beat, a well-timed beat coming out of Super is going to be able to keep the team up. And with the rest of the ults, Lord going to be able to find one. A logic is going to be able to find two. Dab Mist they're going to be able to find the last one. Dabmaster going to be able to find another. So even though Pepin goes down at the beginning, NYIT is going to be able to stabilize. Those early picks could come back to bite them if they don't figure out how to stop that from happening. But it looks like SNHU is going to come in here and going to be able to pop a few ults and possibly get the fight back. Uh, I can imagine them using the uh, Bastion Arista combo here. No, that, the Blade is actually going to come in and pull most of them in. And it looks like Elogix is going to punch right back in. I don't know if he meant to actually do that. Krimron is going to be able to find two with that Blade. And Dabmaster is going to be able to answer back by finding Gamer Tag. And one trick is going to take out Pepin once again. So back and forth here. But it looks like SNHU might be able to come out on time. But as I say that, Lord is going to be able to take out Fives. Krimron is going to be able to take out Dabmaster. And with no one else left, SNHU once again is going to take it back. Pretty even game so far. 75 and counting to 65 on the Cybears. SNHU, one or two more fights left. To be able to secure point one of Antarctica, let's see exactly what happens. Unlocked is going to go in, find a dive, and get quickly back out. 
No team really has ult aside from five. Who's now going to use it? Is anyone on the side barrier is going to be able to dodge the mortar strikes? It looks like it's not going to be able to find anybody. Nope. As I say that, gamer tag is going to be able to take out Logics through that damage. Beat is going to be able to all but secure SNHU. Being able to hold this down, Lord is the last possible player as Dabmaster is now going to pop the up and gets taken out quickly by one trick Lord. The last Cybear alive is going to try his best to keep this point alive. 30 HP, 17 HP, and he gets taken down. And it looks like that is it. SNHU. But Logix is no longer in this world. Super is going to try and touch. But SNHU is going to be able to take point one on Antarctica. Score. Very back and forth between SNHU and the Cybears right now. Usually when we see these two teams clash, it's pretty balanced. And if you look at SNHU's uh, lineup for the most part that I can remember, they're mostly new as well. So two fresh looks at two powerhouse teams in ECC. And so far, it's pretty even. The best sword master in the world. I love that interaction, if we call it that. That interaction is always great. Five, but yes, here we are on second three, point of Antarctica. Two, See if the Cybears can one, take this back or if they will fall 2-0 and lose map one. Taking a quick look at the top left to SNHU's uh, lineup. It looks like they're going to stick with what is working. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it looks like the Cybears are basically going to do the same thing as well. The only difference, Pepin, Pepino, now on Ana as fives. Once again, finding that opening pick, this time on Super, is going to be able to take a support down on the side of the Cybers. Krim Run is going to be able to take down Dabmaster. And it looks like SNHU is once again going to get control of the point as they push forward and clean up the Cybers. Fives doing damage on this Bastion. He always able to find the opening pick on a support of all things on the side of the Cybers. Lord is going to slowly sneak behind them as we see a swap come out from Unlogix on the Sigma. A little more meta pick. Probably going to be able to contend a lot better with this Orisa. And we'll see exactly how they, uh, how they approach this here. Lord still sneaking around the back, and yes, he's going to try and take out the support line in the back of SNHU. But SNHU is quickly going to turn around and respond, and he's not going to be able to get out of there alive. Withdrawing the barrier. <laughs> the Cybers once again fighting this down. Four players to five as the SNHU is just going to push forward and clean up and regain control. 35% and counting. Batmaster is going to be taken down by Dean. And it's just a regroup time now for the Cybers. Oh, getting body blocked right when your back is on spawn feels bad, man. 50% and counting for SNHU. Cyber's got to figure something out. Dabmaster is now going to switch to the Bash and get a little more damage put down on this DPS. See if he can even up the playing field. SNHU with three ults. Four ults online. The window will probably see get popped here as the Cybers have to filter through the small corridor. Cybears, worse for wear right now. Not a lot of health on the side of the Cybears. Are they even going to be able to touch before they can do anything? There comes the window on the side of SNHU as the Orisa starts pushing forward. Lord is going to be able to go in. He's popping Blade. He gets two. There is beat from the side of SNHU, but is that enough to keep them up? Lord still going forward. Dabmaster is going to be able to take a third. Nano, a very questionable Nano coming out of the side of the Cybears, but probably just to keep Lord up. I don't know if they meant to do that or if they meant to Nano Blade, but... It is what it is. The Cybears now have control of the point for the first time on this map. 7% and counting to SNHU's 91, and they only need one fight. And they have three alts to be able to do it. They're going to open up with the Mortar. It's going to almost be able to take out the supports. The supports are able to survive. SNHU, let's see exactly what they do next. I can see the... Well, there's the Blade. Arisa alt should be close to follow. He's going to be able to take down two. He's going to take down three. The Flux is going to come in from a Logic. So he's going to be able to do anything. He's not going to be able to find anything as Quinn takes him down. And that should be it. SNHU taking out Super. Welcome to the ECC. The Cybears and their new roster. 92%. SNHU should all but have this. Surprising that there were no swaps to try and touch quicker. But it looks like that is it. As SNHU takes map one.
Let's see who gets play of the game. It is Dadmaster, actually. So, hey, you know, we take it. The new DPS flexing his skills, being able to show what he can do on, on Sojourn. But let's see if the Cybears are going to be able to come back in map two and tie it up. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, wake up, welcome, wel wake em? welcome back to map two of this powerhouse, uh, man, my brain, my brain's not working right now, but what is working right now is the Cybears trying to figure out what they are going to do to bring it back, and their answer, Circuit Royale. You guys missed it in the first week, as we did not have the stream capabilities set up yet, but this map definitely felt comfortable for the Cybears. And they were able to find great success holding uh, St. Joseph's or St. John's, whichever it was, uh, three to zero on this map. So hopefully we'll be able to bring this back, tie it up. And we'll have a long series ahead for you guys. Looking at the comp right now, it looks like both teams are going to be opting for the same. The, exactly the same comp. So meta, here we come. Double sniper. Double sniper Zen Bap with a... Uh, Sigma. That's actually kind of funny. It, it, they did not plan this, I promise you, and we have a pause. So, uh, we will figure out what is going on, and we will be with you guys shortly. Alright, looks like there was some technical difficulties on the side of SNHU, but it looks like we are back in business as the game comes on pause. Want to keep an eye on Unlogix for the open here. See what he can do on this Sigma, since he's the one that's going to be leading this charge with that shield but i'm also going to be interested to see if the lord versus crim run sniper battle uh lives up to what it could be cybears are on the attack here in circuit royale as they had map and mode choice and here we go on the night streets of circuit royale that's an hu opting for the high ground approach we have the sniper split on the left and on the right it looks like they're just going to focus on trying to push this part. See which team steps up first to be able to stop the push or continue the push. The Zen Orb, the Discord Orb, is going to be very important on who these players target because that is going to be a lot of health shred on those Discord Orb targets. Fives is going to be able to strike first as Pepino once again the first casualty of the match But Lord is going to be able to answer quickly and Fives is going to be able to answer just as quickly back Back and forth we go here as Fives is going to be able to find another The Hanzo on SNHU showing NYIT what he can do with a bow One trick is going to be able to take out on Logics and that is reset for the Cybers Ward is actually still in the front line. See if he can find a pick here as he gets a headshot. Not going to be able to take him up with Dabmaster. He's going to be able to clean him up with his own headshot. So different target, but he's going to be able to take out his doppelganger on the side of SNHU. The sniper is on NYT starting to come to life here as the team starts pushing forward. Dean low on health. The Emort is going to be able to come out of the side of SNHU. But Lord puts a bullet in between Zenyatta's heads. Going to be able to find another Widow Battle as Fives is actually going to not respect the Widow Battle. He says, screw that. I'm taking you out myself. Logic's going to be able to take out Crim Run. The Sigma on the side of SNHU caught in the room. Going to be able to get taken out. A Dragon coming out of the side of the Cybears to be able to clean this up. Fives very low on health. The Window is going to be able to come out on the side of SNHU. Don't know if they actually wanted to do that or not. But the Cybers should be able to capture this. Gamertag's gonna be able to take out one. Logic's gonna be able to take out the Zenyatta. Looking for a second on the Baptiste. Gonna be able to take out another. A Super's gonna be able to take that out herself. Crimrun gonna find one on the exit, but the Cybers have captured point one on circuit. Cybers starting to find a little bit of life here with this comp, Double Sniper and Sigma. Sort of a more meta comp, but you know, if it, if it works, it works. SNHU no is only going to have the dragon on as now NYIT can see where they are at all times with the walls. That's going to stop SNHU from trying anything right now. Going to be able to secure more meters for the side of the Cybers, but I would not be surprised if SNHU opens with the dragon or the flux that's about to come in on 
on Dean, but on Logics with the flux of his own, could he initiate first? Waiting to see, there's the dragon for the side of SNHU. Pepin is gonna quickly answer with a transcendence of his own. On Logic staying up, about to die, but Dean kept up by. And here comes the flux. He's gonna be able to find the Widowmaker on the side of SNHU. The Transcendence on the side of SNHU, not enough to keep them up as NYIT continuing for Dabmaster finding two of his own. One trick gonna be able to find more. Here comes a Flux on the side of SNHU, gonna be able to find one. I don't know if he meant to do that or not, but hey, it works. But Dabmaster gonna be able to add another one to his repertoire, and that should be point two, hopefully captured for the Cybers. I don't think SNHU is going to be, uh, gonna be able to touch. No, they are not. So quickly, four minutes on the clock, NYIT has found some steam, able to take down SNHU so far, and it looks like a couple of swaps are coming through. We're going to see one trick on the side of SNHU, switching to the Brig of all things, and looks like, uh, no, Lord did switch to the Tracer, but switch back, Dragon, going to be able to push it back, is going to be able to find a great headshot on his doppelganger, this sniper alone is just... Arian, NYIT, he's gonna be able to find another! Dab, what are you doing? Keeping the team on your back, Lord is gonna be able to find his own, Logic's gonna be able to find a fourth. The only one left on the side of SMH2 is this Sigma, and he should not be alive any longer, he is gone. The Snipers on the side of, S of NYIT, just going to work. It's gonna force the swaps on the side of SNHU. We're gonna see Krimron now jump onto the Genji. His main objective is just gonna be making Lord's life a living. Yeah, we gotta... Battle over here. Dabmaster found himself both supports and the rest of the team. SNHU is going to be able to get out. That's actually Lamp forced out of the side of SNHU. That's huge if the NYT is going to be able to pick up on this one trick. He's going to be able to find one though. Five is going to be able to find another. And that's most likely the end of NYIT's push. Dabmaster has one last say. He's able to find one before getting out. And that is it for the Side Bears' current push as SNHU is going to be able to stabilize. Lord on this Widow should be able to find another, but Fives quickly taking out the Doppelganger. It looks like it's just a Doppelganger duel here. <laughs> Sniper's taking out Sniper's, Hanzo taking out Hanzo. I, I don't know what it is anymore. We live in the Matrix, ladies and gents. But that should slow down the Cybears just a little bit, unless Lord is able to find a pick on his Widowmaker. There's Walls, he's gonna be able to tell where everyone is. That should be the go button for the Cyber. And Dabmaster is gonna be able to take a, take out his doppelganger. Widow's gonna be able to take out Krimrun. The window is gonna be popped by SNHU. That might let them stabilize a little longer, but not enough as the Cybers are pushing forward. And that is the go button right there. The beat coming out of the side of the Cybers. Pepino is gonna pop that. The Brig on the side of SNHU is gonna pop her own alt. Wide Brig is here to stay. Gonna be able to find one. He's gonna be able to find another. Krimrun is gonna take out Lord. And just like that, the momentum that the Cybers thought they found is shut down by the, by SNHU. And SNHU is gonna be able to hold once again. I will say though, the Cybers did find some meters forward in that push. So it was, they were able to find some meters on that push. Sorry about that. And uh, yeah, at the cost of just a couple ults, Lord, the double headshot dink is gonna be able to take out, the, uh, it's gonna be able to take out fives. And that should be the go button for the Cybears. That is an alt off the side of SNHU. Go button push forward as Unlogix is going to pop Flux. Going to be able to find two, but gets rocked out of the sky. Rock bottom and answered by a Flux of his own on the side of SNHU. Dean showing Unlogix how it's done on the Sigma. Going to be able to find one with the help of one trick. Dabmaster is not going to let anyone escape. Gonna be able to take out a DPS of his own, but it's all a little too late as the Cybers now once again have to back up. 60 seconds. 60 seconds remaining on the side of the Cybers offense. Great push so far. There's the dragon coming out of the side of NYIT. Will that be able to find anybody? That'll split the back line. Lord is gonna be able to take out fives. That's the go button for the Cybers. They're pushing everyone into the small room. Unlogix moving forward has no shield, but he has a rock. He has two not gonna finish that sentence. And here comes all the on the side of SNHU. SNHU just presses Q. I have no idea what's going on anymore, but Lord is gonna be able to find one through the full rain that shuts down the Briggle. Five is gonna be able to find one. Dabman so is gonna be able to find another. It's just back and forth. All that's left on the side of SNHU is the tank and the bath. So the Cybers come out on top. Dabmaster Lord gonna be able to combine to clean up the rest. They might be able to capture this 
Last second touch from the side of SNHU might happen. 13 seconds left. This is final fight territory. As here comes the Genji and the rest of SNHU. Let's see who drops first. That should seal the deal for either team. Lord is going to be able to find the support on one trick. That is a huge pick. The window is going to come out, but to no avail. Damn Master is going to be able to take out DPS. Fives is going to be able to take out Emor, but that doesn't matter. That's not a player on the team. Lord is going to be able to take out Fives, and, the S and SNHU is crumbling at the feet of the Cy Bears. They try to get the flux that gets nothing, and against all odds, the Cy Bears in overtime are able to complete the push. 3-0 currently on Circuit Royale. Zero to three, switching sides. Very back and forth at the tail end of that push, but the Cybers finding what is working for them right now with this double sniper Sigma setup. Lord and um, or Lord and Dabmaster, sorry, just being able to combine to get those opening picks. And like I said, I'm pretty sure every single pick so far <laughs> has basically been a doppelganger pick where the Hanzo finds the Hanzo, the Widow finds the Widow, so on and so forth. But either way, those picks are huge when it comes to the Cybers being able to push forward. Ready for battle. Cybers were able to complete the map, so let's see if they're able to repeat what they did in week one and hold SNHU to zero. Couple of swaps coming out of the side of SNHU. Looks like they're gonna go for a more, a, a little less snipey, a little more damage. They're gonna have fives switch to an Ash. So that should still cover the damage of a sniper, but has a lot more DPS in general. And then we have Krimron. Back on that Genji, who caused havoc on the back line of the Cybers. A couple of adjustments coming out of SNHU. Let's see if the Cybers are going to be able to read this as they walk out with the same comp. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And let's see exactly how this goes down. And if we're going to get our first 3-3 three, three score line of the season. Lord is going to get a peek real quick on that, on that Widow. Not going to be able to find much, but that Sonar is going to give the team a lot of information. They should be able to tell what they're running against now as Lord takes the hat off of Ash. Who cares if you have another DPS, another another hit scan, if our sniper himself can take you out. And that is one player down on the side of SNHU. Primrun is gonna jump in, he's gonna be able to take out Pepin. So that's huge for the side of SNHU, being able to take out a support. Lord is gonna answer with a support kill of his own, but one trick is gonna be able to get on Logix, who is pushed into a corner. Dabmaster's gonna be able to find one trick back and forth. But right now, SNHU is on top as the Matamatas are now out on the side of SNHU. And SNHU is just going to keep pushing forward without a tank. The Cybears cannot really stabilize. But as I say, that Lord is like, nah, who needs a tank? I can just do exactly what I just did two seconds ago. Takes out five, sends him back to the spawn. As Krimbron is trying his best to keep the Cybears at bay. But Dabmaster on the front line with this Hanzo is putting down work. Lord already has sights pretty quick on that ult. Although it is not an offensive ult, it is very good for keeping the team from pushing. Scrim Run drops dangerously low, almost taken out by an arrow from Dabmaster as this Hanzo is going on a tear. On Logic's in front, here comes Sights, even though the team is pushing in, but that is going to allow the Cybears to know exactly where they're rotating from. Sonar is just going to add on to that layer of information. SNHU still has no... SNHU has no ults. And Lord, with the double kill, this kid is going off on the Widowmaker. Showing up on his freshman redshirt season. Alonis is going to find another. Um, Dabmaster is going to find a third. The freshman of, SNA, or of NYIT showing why they're here. In terms of ults, it looks like the, the Cybears are actually the only ones that are really going to have any ults coming online now with Window and Dragon. And swaps are now coming out of uh, SNHU. They're opting for dive. Full dive composition coming out of the side of, of SNHU. They want to deal with Lord on this Widowmaker. They know the threat that is this Widowmaker, and we should expect all of them to jump on as here comes the attack. The dragon is gonna go in first, gonna split up the front line and back line of SNHU. And you can see through Lord's perspective, they are head hunting him and only him, trying to figure out where this Widowmaker is. But who cares? If you dive in, you're gonna be met by nothing but death from the Cybears. One dive in, everyone out. As an unsuccessful dive finds SNHU back in the spawn room. 
That's the thing with these dives, is if you focus too much on one player, so example, they're trying to focus in on Lord, now everyone else has a chance to be like, okay, they're focusing on you, you run back, and we'll be able to deal with the rest. The gamer tag is going to be able to find the opening pick on Dab Master through the Kiriko, and that should tell the Cybers to back up just a little bit, even though that is only a DPS, but that is a lot of damage off the board as Lord is going to be able to find two headshots. Super is going to be able to complete that kill as a logic on the front line is going to move in now that there's two kills. The Transcendence coming out of Pepin, I don't know if that was needed. They might want that back soon, especially since the Dragon Blade is now free on the side of SNHU. But who cares about a Dragon Blade if the team cannot group up? Lord is going to be able to take out fives. He's on fire right now. And SNHU with 13 seconds left is scrambling to try and find something. They have three alts online. We should see the Dragon, the, the, the Nano Blade coming in very soon. That Master is going to be able to take out Dean. There is the Blade and the Flux. But they take him out. The Nano Blade finds nothing. Path finds nothing. The Side Bears hanging on by a thread through the rest of the damage. I don't know if the SNHU is going to be able to find this. All that is left is the Tracer and the the uh Ana, but that might actually be enough on logics the last side bear alive trying to deal with this Ana the best he can but snhu has reinforcements in they might not be able to find anything here dean is going to be able to find two and with the overtime ticking snhu might have found the key to be able to get this super is going to try and touch but to no avail but it looks like nyt is going to try and get this two meters left and with no time left SNHU is able to find point one, two and a half minutes on the clock, and we are continuing here on Circuit Royale. NYIT was so close to being able to repeat what they did in week one, being able to hold SNHU completely, but now SNHU knocking on the spawn doors of NYIT with two minutes now on their clock. NYIT is going to switch to the Cassidy and the Tracer comp. Gonna be able to find one, Pepin, on the Kiriko now is going to be able to find another and NYIT as quickly as they push they're going to be able to push in and stabilize here both DPS on the side of NYIT are going to push forward and Logix is going to find one Pepin is going to find another and like that SNHU runs back to spawn Lord getting an exiting kill on fives SNHU back to spawn NYIT now stabilized trying to figure out how they're going to stall for another minute and 32. Only alts online right now are Tracer on the side of NYIT and uh, what's it called? Primal Rage on the side of SNHU. That may be the entry key here or just a staying power for the side of SNHU. Not much damage, but a lot of health on that alt there. You have a, a huge anti coming out of the side of SNHU, but not gonna be able to find anything. Looks like the Pulse Bomb was committed by NYIT. Dab Master not gonna be able to find anything on that either. That is the dive condition for SNHU, but it doesn't matter. As if your DPS is dead, Dab Master is gonna be able to find two. That's the Genji and the Kiriko taken off the board for the side of SNHU as Dab Master is on a tear. A lot she's gonna put forward trying to find this Ana. Dean with the Primal Rage is gonna be able to find Pepin, but Super is gonna answer back and finding a kill of her own finding one trick and sending everyone back to spawn. Lord is going to be able to find an exiting kill. SNHU scrambling back. Lord is going to be able to find a second. Can he find a third on this Kiriko? Dab decides, hey, I want a piece of that action. Going to be able to find that. 10 player kill streak on the side of Lord. 30 seconds left. And the only alts that we have online so far for both sides, we have the Nano and Path coming up for SNHU. We have Flux, we have Deadeye, and we have Path and Window for the side of NYIT. So in terms of alts, NYIT is ahead but it depends on how they use these ults. Here comes the dive. There's the nano onto the Winston. So no nano blade after this. The flux coming out of Unlogics. The combination with the Cassidy ult gonna be able to find one. Dean is gonna be able to find one, but Dead Master is gonna be able to find a support on the side of SNHU. This might be it if NYIT can stabilize. Path was also committed on the side of NY or SNHU. Lord is gonna be able to find two. Clem is gonna be able to find the kill, but who cares? NYIT coming out on top and able to tie the series up one to one here on Circuit Royale. Cheers to that. The freshman, the freshman showing up for the side of the Cybears as this time around, Fives gets play of the game on the side of SNHU. So it just looks like the losing team gets, gets play of the game. But snipers on both sides doing very well and NYT able to level the playing field. So we will be back after this to see which map and mode SNHU pick as we are tied one to one going on in the
We've been to Antarctica, and we've been to Circuit Royale. Third stop on this crazy journey, Blizzard World, as the series is now tied one-to-one -one between SNHU and NYIT Cybears. SNHU are the penmen, right? I think so. Penmen. Penmen, penmen, penmen. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But what is interesting are the DPS line of the Cybears going off that last game. Lord doing his own work on that sniper last match, being able to take away that map's MVP in my mind as we move into the third map of a best of five series between these two teams. Let's take a look real quick at the lineups here. We have the Penmen. Nah, you guys are just SNHU. We have SNHU coming out on the comp that they ran last map with the Sigma, the Ash, the Hanzo, the Bap, and the Brig this time around. And NYIT on attack first here. Taking a similar approach but with a few swaps. Lord is now going to be on the Echo. Dabmaster is going to pick up the Widow. Super is going to be on the Life Weaver. And Pepin on the Mercy. On Logic still on that Sigma. And let's see if this new swap is going to be able to uh, breed results as we will hop on with Lord on this Echo as Dab is going to switch to the Soldier. I have to guess the name of the game here is Pocket the Echo and just fly in similar to a Farmer C but with a lot more DPS being able to go down as Lord is going to be able to actually find one on the support of SNHU. That should be the go button. Five is going to be able to take him out but Dab's it's gonna quickly take their DPS out. Rez is almost gonna come in. He's gonna get rocked out, but Unlogic's gonna be able to find one. The, the uh, immortality, not long for this world, as the Cybears gonna be able to walk all over SNHU and take, most likely, take this point and unlock the cart for Blizzard World. That master not holding back as he's moving forward, trying to find another here. And it looks like the Alari is gonna be coming out on the side of SNHU. I am 100% going to be mispronouncing this hero and not knowing what she's doing because I have not played her at all. As one trick is going to be able to find a pick on her, Rez is going to come out on the side of the Cybears. So we're back to 5v5. But it looks like Alari and Soldier are the swaps for the side of SNHU. Trying to control the Echo. Lord is going to go up, going to be able to find some damage down. Almost get taken out by SNHU, but is able to find some healing on the side of Athena. And right now, it is just a matter of high ground control. SNHU all on the high ground is going to be able to take down Lord. He's going to have to play very carefully now. That res, really risky. He's going to be able to find the res, but gets taken out in the process. I don't know if that res is worth it, but throughout all of this, the Cybears are going to be pushing forward. Primrose is going to be able to take out Pepino there. But Logic's trying to back up, not get taken out. Lord is going to be able to take out Fives. And it's even currently as the first ult of the map is going to come out with the Dragon Strike on the side of NYIT. Lord is going to be able to take out the Alari. And is going to keep pushing forward. Unlogix pushing forward, trying to find who he can. The Baptiste gets taken out by Lord as well. Unlogix trying his best to take everyone else out. He's going to be able to find the Ash. going to be able to find the... Lord is going to take that steal, that kill actually. And the Cybers, against all odds, losing a couple of people there, are going to be able to fight back on the back of some ults and some key kills by Lord as he just continues to push forward. Dabmaster with a double headshot kill there is going to be able to secure point two for NYIT as the DPS once again are just putting this team on their back. Lord gets taken out as a consolation prize, but Dabmaster says, hey, you take out my DPS, I take out yours as this Hanzo Unchecked is going off. SNHU has the Alari ult online along with the Flux. They're probably going to use those in tandem. A lot of burst damage there. That master going to take out the healing pylon. Here is the Mercy ult. And here is the Alari ult. I have absolutely no idea what it does. But it's going to be able to find a few members of MYIT. Not going to be able to find much else other than the dot. The Ash ult is going to... Or Ash ult. The, the copy is going to be able to come out. Alonji is going to be able to find one. Lord is going to be able to find another with the copied Ash. He's going to be able to build up a Bob fast enough. There is the Bob. He's going to do things. He's going to do lots of things. Actually, no. He's just going to stand there and look pretty. Dab Master is going to clean up the rest. So, even though 
the ults connect on the side of SNHU. NYIT is able to weather the storm. Dragon Shrek is going to be able to hit that right door. Going to be able to keep them in spawn. It's only going to make them come out of the left door. So many ults on the side of SNHU. Here comes Flux. Here comes the Sojourn ult. Is it going to find anything? Five is going to be able to find the Immort. The Lord is going to take out the Alari in the back line. Five is going to be able to find Super. He's going to be able to take out his support. He's going to also be able to shut down the Flux. Lord is going to find another in the back line. Is that going to be enough? He's going to be able to find two. Find five account. keeping SNHU alive with a 4K of his own before getting taken out by Lord and NYIT for the first time this map gets pushed back to the spawn rooms on the back of fives. I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen, for me like struggling on this cast. I'm going to be honest, I have not played much Overwatch recently. So trying to get back into the swing of things here, especially casting, is a little difficult. But we keep moving forward as, as NYIT keeps trying to move forward. Lord in the back line trying to find something sneaky here. He's going to be able to find anything here. He's going to be able to get a lot of damage down onto the Alari, and that's going to be able to get confirmed by Deadmaster. Deadmaster is going to take out two. The flank works out. Deadmaster and Lord combining to do Lord's work. Be able to find the back line. Going to be able to stabilize here. Bob is going to come out on the side of SNHU. He's going to be able to do lots of things. Put down a ton of damage here on the side of SNHU. But Lord still in the back line. He's going to be able to take out one game. We're going to be able to find another. The Rez comes out. And here comes the Valkyrie. Here comes the Dragon Shrek as well. So NYIT is not done with this fight. But with that kill onto Super, it might be done. Unless the DPS on the side of NYIT can find it. A miracle here. A Logix is actually going to find one himself. The tank of NYIT does not want to let this point go. Pepin is going to drop to the side of Fives. Primrun is going to find a Logix, and that should be the end of the push for NYT. But Dabmaster in the back line, he's going to try and see if he could back cap here. Lord is distracting them currently. If he goes unchecked, he might actually be able to get this up, but if he doesn't look to his left, he might not see that there's a Kiriko right there. SNHU is not leaving this point, so they know that the potential of a back cap is here. If if Dabmaster gets caught out, that is the end. How has he not been seen? He does get seen as there comes the collapse, but he's able to take out the Kiriko anyway. You see me? No, you don't. As he pushes in, there's a copy. Two Sigmas on the side of NYIT. That's going to be a lot of health added on to the side of NYIT. Here comes the Soldier on the side of SNHU. Is he going to be able to find anybody? Lord is going to be able to find Gamertag. The Flux is going to come out on the side of SNHU. And just like that, SNHU is able to take out most of NYIT as Fives, once again with a 3K, is going to push them right back to spawn. Minute 46 left on the clock. 0.98 meters. Less than a meter left for NYIT to have secured that third point there. As we don't see many swaps coming out on either side, we have Pepin now on the Kiriko, and we have the Zenyatta for the side of... Oh my god, there was no Zenyatta there. Nope, I don't know what I was talking about. There was no Zenyatta whatsoever. He got evaporated by Lord here as Lord is just trying to do his best to carry this team. Gets a ton of damage on the back line. Elogix is actually flanking as well with the rest of the team. Supports and Elogix on the backside. He does have Flux. He does have it available. Is he going to pop it? Immort gets popped. He leaves the support line alone. That was a mistake there. Flux whiffs completely as everything falls apart. What looked like a great push on the cyber. I'm, what am I talking about? That Master and Lord put this team on their back. They're going to be able to figure out what they need are they going to be able to secure this though the health is really low that master gonna be able to find one oh, so close the dps on nyit almost were able to take that down but snhu able to get healing up and running quicker they're going to be able to stabilize here last fight territory for either team and the only ult available currently is the bap ult on the side of snhu as lord is very close to another copy will he be able to build that up in time that master is also going to have the uh the dragon strike available lord is going to be able to take out one that's the opening pick for the side bears window comes out from the side of snhu a lot of damage being able to get put down sigma once again gets copied he's going to go very very low lord is going to be able to find one while copied he's going to be able to get healed back up that window off or not one trick though he's going to, be able to take out the tank on the side of nyit that's the tank gone here comes the copy flux he's going to be able to find one he's going to be able to find more than one the copy runs out before he can slam, but Dab is able to put the team on his back. Time two. Is that going to be enough? Flux is going to come out of the side of SNHU. Theme trying to, to, to hold NYIT, and he might be able to. He finds two. Our logic's able to find one more, keeping this point alive. Lord is going to be able to help him out. Kiriko is the last person left for SNHU. Puts down path. 
NYT, three meters left. If they get off this point for all of two seconds, that's it. But Lord and on Logics, once again, against all odds, is able to complete the map in overtime. Score zero to three. Switching sides. What am I doing counting out my team before the time is done? Who am I? What kind of. Well, Cupid left the game. Bye. What kind of manager am I counting us out? It ain't over till it's over, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Cybears. Prove me wrong. Able to secure all three points. And once again, SNHU on the back of fives. Able to find some momentum. Dean able to find some momentum as well at the end there. But not enough to shut down the Cybears and to shut down Lord, especially, who's having himself a game. Right. Having himself a debut game here as the DPS for the Cybears. Cybears now on defense. See if they can repeat the strength that they had on the defense on Circuit Royale as some swaps come through for both teams. A logic still on the Sigma. Ash is going to be now on the playing field along with Dabmaster's Tracer who found some good back uh, backline damage. Super is going to be on the Baptiste. Pepin is going to take out the Ana once again. Looks like uh, SNHU has read this and is most likely going to be going for a full dive comp. Yep. Full dive with the Winston, the Soldier, the Tracer, the Kiriko, and the Ana. So it's going to be Immovable Wall meeting an unstoppable object here. See who will get first pick as Dabmaster. <laughs> oh, almost one clips fives to open. Not able to figure that out. <laughs> But he's going to have to try and get out with the, his own life as SNHU is slowly trying to find their opening for this dive. Sleep is going to come out on the side of SNHU, not going to find anything. And there's a huge anti for the side of SNHU. He's going to be able to get everyone on the side, on the on the high ground of NYIT. And just like that, Super goes down. That master, low HP, not able to get healed up. Another great anti coming out on the side of the... Of SNHU, they'll be able to secure all but secure this first point. Dab is trying the best he can to try and save this. A crim run being healed up by one trick is going to be able to secure point one. And just like that, as fast as NYIT captured point one, SNHU has started up the cart. And we are now moving to street phase of Blizzard World. Big Antsy on to Lord, dropping dangerously low. He's going to be able to get help by his team. He is not fives, and the rest of the team are going to be able to dive on. And it looks like NYIT is going to have to take this 4v5. Immortality field is used by NYIT just to keep the members up. But another great anti coming out of the side of SNHU. These antis are really what is causing trouble for the Cybers. If Pepin... Oh, Pepin. Pepino is actually swapped to the break. So forget Ana. We now have a break to try and help with the dive. The Nano getting onto the monkey as he's going to push backwards. Fives is going to get the stick on Super as SNHU just has the W key pressed trying their best to keep the momentum going. NYIT falling apart bit by bit. Should probably regroup here, get a full regroup and figure out what they need to do next. Lord drops last as some swaps are now coming out on the side of NYIT. We have the Genji soldier swaps for the DPS line. Actually, Bastion soldier swaps for the DPS line. Super is now going to pick up the Brig of her own, and Pepin is going to be on the Kiriko as Dean takes out Dab on the back of once again. Another amazing anti coming out of one trick, and SNHU is not letting up on the gas. Lord is going to get taken out pretty quickly, but also fives fives, but it does not matter. SNHU has captured second point. Five minutes, 36 on the clock for NYIT to have to hold before we go into extra innings. NYIT trying to figure out what is going to work against this team. They're currently very split up, but the antis on the side of SNHU proving super strong. Tracer trying to figure out how they can take out Dab, but Dab is able to survive with the help of his Kiriko. Suzu is used on the side of NYIT. That should be a go button for the side of SNHU as the Tracer trying to find opening. There is Path and uh, Soldier used in. Tac Visor on the side of NYIT. Gonna be popped in response, but it's not gonna find enough. He is gonna take out Krim run, but not after Krim takes out two. Dean is gonna take out one of Logics and Lord are gonna combine four, two more to support. And the DPS left for SNHU. Five is gonna be able to actually clean up the last two. 
Four minutes, 36 seconds in his final fight territory for NYIT. Are they going to be able to find anything? We have Pepin on the point. Here comes Path with the side of NYIT. They should be able to use that to get some momentum forward and push SNHU back. But SNHU does have a Primal and a Nano in their back pocket. They should be able to pop this and push forward right now. The only alt left, two alts left on the side of NYIT are Flux and... Yep, Fashion is gone. So Flux is the last... Is the last hope for NYT is going to be able to find the Kiriko, but they have to get on point, and SNHU creeping ever closer to the point, point five meters left, SNHU trying their best to, to finish this map with time, Dean is going to be able to take out Super, that Briggle not going to be able to do anything here, as it looks like NYT is trying their best to stabilize this, Pepin on the point with Kiriko, going to be able to join his team again. And even though it looked dire for NYIT, they're able to hold SNHU to just 0.5 meters of the point. Problem here though, three minutes 30 on the clock for SNHU to push so little. One fight goes SNHU, SNHU's way. And that's it for the side of Cybers. Anti not gonna land this time around as Dabmaster is now on to the Reaper to try and deal with this Winston. On Logic's gets slumped here on the front line as that master is up front trying to put as much damage down as possible that he can. On Logic's gets anti, he's not gonna be able to get healed up very much. Suzu gonna come out on the side of SNA2 to try and keep Dean up. Is he going to be able to survive? He does not. On Logic's landing the final blow and finding the Kiriko as well as that master decides to take a nap. And on Logic says, "All right, he can lay there and sleep. I'll find three." NYIT finding some momentum here, some staying power as SNHU is forced to go to the BAP. Dabmaster in the back line going to try and find a sneaky uh, alt in the back line. He's going to be able to find this as we're watching him slowly try and get into the back line. Will they spy check? They do spy check. He's not going to be able to find anything here. Sleep misses. And there is the immortality as well. There goes the alt. Finds three. Dabmaster dabbing on the haters right now as he finds a 4k himself. SNHU read the situation but could not find the kill. They wasted sleep, they wasted Imwort, and as soon as we saw that lamp go down, Dab was like, all right, the lamp is down, kill lamp, and I kill all of them. SNHU reading the situation but not able to find the results that they needed. Ooh, Pulse Bomb comes in for the side of SNHU, but Immortality, placed by Super, is going to be able to save the rest of the team. Dabmaster is still trying to find damage here, as Lord in the back lane is going to recall, try and find Krim, he's going to be able to find anybody. Pass is going to come out of the side of NYIT to push forward. Five is going to be able to find the Baptiste on the side of NYIT, and Dean is going to be able to find Lord. So even though we invested alt, looks like SNHU has the momentum forward as they find two key kills for the side of the side or for the side of SNHU. On Logic, still with the Flux, is going to try and see if he can do anything here. There's the Nano onto Tracer, but the Flux is going to come out, not going to find anything due to that lamp. And Tracer in five is going to be able to find two. Not going to be able to find two. Here comes Visor on the side of SNHU, he's not going to be able to find anything so far, he's going to be able to find Lord after he takes down his doppelganger, and that might be enough for SNHU to start pushing forward again. Reaper is going to come back into the fight as SNHU is popping every ult in succession, now with the window out, Dean still has the Flux, going to try and use it last second most likely to keep the stuff. as I say that, there's the Flux, but Logic's not going to be able to find the counter lock that's dropped dangerously low, NYIT, oh no, there go the supports, Dean trying to put the team on his back, one trick Krim run, 36 seconds left on the clock. SNHU able to complete the map with time in the bank. Score, three to three, switching sides. Minute 34 on the clock for SNHU and a minute gets added to NYIT as for the first time this season, NYIT is going into extra innings and we get free Overwatch. A lot of things happening during this match. A lot of counter swaps too. Really good to see both teams trying to strategize against them. One team swaps, the other team swaps as well. And it is very much a valiant effort across all 10 players in the lobby. Ready. A few notable plays coming out of the side of Fives and Crim Run. And Dean as well on the side of SNHU being able to stay alive in key situations and find those key flux kills. And then not to scoff 
on the side of NYIT. Pepin and Super are trying their best to keep their team up. And Ward and Dab doing what they do best. As it looks like NYIT now on attack is going to be opting for a full dive. They do have a minute on the clock, so they know that momentum is going to win them the game. So if they can find an entry pick with this dive comp, it'll be huge to be at least to, to at least get a tick on this point and hopefully capture the entire point. Looks like uh, SNHU is going to opt for the double hit scan in lieu of the Echo, but no Echo here, just pure dive. As Unlogix, on his comfort pick. The uh, Doomfist, see if he can find anything here. And YIT pushing forward, SNHU giving them all the room they need to be able to push forward. And here comes the dive, the dive is initiated by the DPS of NYT. Lamp is used by SNHU and Dab is going to be able to find the first kill. And Logic pushing forward, trying to find the soldier, is going to be able to find it with the help of Pepin. Dab Master is going to find another kill of his own, and SNHU crumbles under the pressure and speed of the NYIT dive as they should be able to capture this and start pushing the cart forward. Now the major thing here to, to, to recognize, especially if you are new to Overwatch, now that we are in extra innings, overtime does not reset. So NYIT effectively has to complete this entire map in overtime. If they step off this cart for too long, that wick will burn down and that will be the end and that will be where the win condition for SNHU ends. SNHU swapping to the Torbjorn here, the only swap so far, along with Brig, trying to stop the momentum of this dive. That master is going to be able to take out the immortality of SNHU as Lord almost to that uh, to that pulse bomb here. He's going to be able to use it. He's going to be able to find a stick. He's not. He's actually going to take it down by Krimbo, and the logic gets taken down dangerously low as SNHU starts pushing forward. Trying to take the Winston Krimbo is going to be able to find another. That might be it. Fives and one shot combined for another two. And it looks like that is where the cart will stop. 49 meters complete. And that there, ladies and gentlemen, is the win condition for SNHU. Three to four. Switching sides. Looks like the dive worked at the entry for NYIT with that pressure. SNHU not ready for that pressure on the dive. They were able to capture the point, which is huge in these overtime situations, and able to get some distance on that cart as well. So NYIT definitely is not out of this. If they're able to mount one or two holds without SNHU making any progress, the map should be as good as theirs. The big difference here is those 34 seconds that SNHU has. Those 34 seconds are another push that NYIT did not have. Of course, they didn't need it, but those 34 seconds could be paramount to an SNHU win here. Let's take a look at the comps as they're starting to come out of the spawn here. It looks like NYIT is trying to mount the staying power as they are off as they are opting for the Orissa May. Fashion is also going to come out on the side of Lord, so super high damage, super high sustain, and just trying to also fight off the potential of a dive with the Orissa and the May. Looks like SNHU is going to stick to the tried and true dive. And let's see. Once again, immovable wall versus unstoppable objects. Who will win? A logics on this Orissa, a new tank, the third tank that he has played this series. Let's see what he can do with the horse on the side of NYIT. SNHU just trying to find their go button here, their opportunity to dive, to single out one target and figure out who they're going to dive on. But the pings coming out of the side of NYIT, making sure they track as many of the DPS as possible on the side of SNHU. 60 seconds. 60 seconds now remaining. Two pushes left for SNHU as they're still trying to find an opening pick or an opening that they can ex exploit on this dive. And there's the dive. The anti is going to come through on Lord. He's going to be able to find one, though. The immortality on Super is going to be able to keep him up. SNHU gets pushed back. Lord is going to be able to find another. Pepin going to be able to find a third. And Logic going to be able to find a fourth. And huge, huge anti coming out of the side of SNHU. But even bigger. Lamp coming out of the side of Super as she saves her DPS from getting taken down and that converts to a kill. Final fight territory for the side of SNHU as NYIT looking healthy. Dabmaster 85% through that blizzard. Remember that is the only way that you can freeze targets now in the game. 
90 percent he's gonna be able to find his own the fight no not a single ultimate close for the side of snhu they are in final fight territory trying to do what they can best huge wall coming out being able to separate the back line from the front line lord is gonna be able to find one there comes the blizzard gonna be able to separate another criminal is gonna find Pepin, but that master with the help of a logic is going to be able to secure the rest five gets taken down by dab master the blade the final nail in the coffin as dab master is able to secure the win nyit up 2-1 against snhu as we are now on match point let's see who gets played the game this time around dab master nyit win with an nyit play of the game this may being huge for the staying power of NYIT, able to build up that blizzard super quickly and ice SNHU's momentum. NYIT up 2-1. Let's see if they take it or we go to a map five. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If you have been gone or are just tuning in, NYIT is now up 2-1 against SNHU as we are now on match point as SNHU has selected to go to the streets of Rome as we have our first push map of the series in Colosseo. Just so you guys are aware, ACC's uh, setup this year is a little different from what we're used to seeing. Uh, it is actually the best of five. There's a map pool. The home team is able to select the first control map. And then after that, you can play any map and any mode up to three times in a series. So we have seen four different modes so far in this series, but you could potentially see a three control series, a three push series, a three flashpoint series. God, please don't give us a three flashpoint series. But just so you're aware of the of the layout for ECC. But it is a best of five loser picks map. And we go on forward in Coliseo. The vibes are up for NYIT as they're looking to secure this win. As they pull out the dive once again. And it looks like SNHU says, hey, they found some success with the Bastion May. We're going to try it. And here we are, the collapse onto the robot here. This hallway, major key factor to how push is played, especially in Coliseo. First pick should dictate a lot here as a logic struck dangerous low almost gets walled off here. As who's that? Super actually gets taken out first. Dean is gonna be able to find both those kills, sending a little too far forward, playing with the May a little too much, as SNHU is gonna be able to find the first two opening picks and start to push the bot forward. Logics gets rocked here and actually gets walled and starts to be slowed by the May. He's gonna find the push down onto the DPS of SNHU, but there's a lot of damage getting poured into the front line of NYIT. Krimrun is gonna find a one place icicle onto Dab Master's skull. Gonna be able to take him out. Logics jumping in to try and see if he can cause some havoc, separate the May off to the side. Are they gonna be able to take their out? But no, the support on snhu says hey you guys have been getting all the spotlight i'm gonna do something too as d -Wums is gonna be able to find two and five is gonna five a third so the snhu continues pushing forward nice stick onto the lucio of snhu sort of as a consolation prize as the bot is still moving forward and nyc is back to the drawing board swaps come through is now on logics swapping to the uh sigma he had his fun on 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 Doomfist is now just going to go back to a comfort meta pick here as the lamp is used. Pepin is going to be able to find a a pick onto the front. Alts are getting popped left and right. The Blizzard being the biggest alt on the field able to stop NYIT in their tracks. Crimrun is going to be able to find one. Five is going to be able to find two. Drums is going to be able to find three or two. It's not six, it's five. Math. NYIT, after putting in a few alts to that fight, 
SNH2 just had more ults and more staying power with that Blizzard. He's going to be able to continue to push forward as they are very close to getting this first checkpoint here. Ath is going to be committed by NYT. His five is going to get taken out by an unlucky grenade. Lord is going to be able to find one though as they force SNHU into the room. Momentum pushing forward as the tanks are going to continue to push forward. And Logic's not letting go of W, trying to take out who he can. But he might have pushed a little too far forward here. But Wall is going to be able to save the rest of SNHU. Pepin is going to be able to keep this team up with the help of Super and that immortality. SNHU does not want to get too ahead of themselves. They do have to start pushing this bot back. Badmass is going to be able to find a pick. He's going to be able to find both supports. No supports on the field for SNHU. That should be good for the side of NYT. And Logic is going to be able to push forward, find one. Once again, the supports nowhere in sight for SNHU as they are currently in the spawn room. Lord is going to be able to push forward. And that is more forward momentum as the bot now starts pushing on NYT side. <laughs> Fashion ult is going to come in for the side of SNHU. He's not going to find anything but drop the members of SNHU dangerously low. And Logic, though, says, I don't care if I'm low. I'm pushing forward and I'm getting kills. Going to be able to find one. He does have Flux as an option. Waiting for the turret mode of Fashion to end. Rock is going to come out. Going to be able to find Dean. Gonna be able to push forward, but Dean also has a flux of his own. Lord is gonna be able to take out Dean, so there's no worry for that as the flux comes out. Four on Logics is gonna be able to find one and a window coming out for SNHU. I don't know if they planned that or not, but that is a ult they're probably going to want back as NYIT has all but tied up and is actually taking the lead in this push map. NYT finding stabilization and finding momentum as SNHU is now trying to find an answer. SNHU moving into this room and it looks like the alt is going to be coming out on the side of NYT. Is he going to find anything? He's going to find two! Lord waning hell from above is going to be able to find two and drop the rest down to nothing. He's going to be able to find three as the DPS once again putting the team on his back. SNHU filtering into that little room gave Lord all the options he needed to drop all three mortar strikes onto their heads. SNHU, the only thing they have looking up for them right now is they have three ults. So they can push in with Blizzard here and possibly stop NYIT in their tracks. NYIT unlocks with a huge drop. He's able to cancel the flux on the side of SNHU. That's one ult down on the side of SNHU. Will they commit anything more as they're able to take down Pepino? The lamp comes out on the side of SNHU. He's going to be able to save the rest of the team and keep them up. The logic's getting pushed back very far by SNHU. Dean is going to be able to find more. That master is going to be able to take on one trick. Dean is going to be able to find Super and Krim is going to be able to find the logic. And even though NYIT had the chance to flip that there and with a huge cancel. Coming out of Unlogic's, SNHU is going to be able to start pushing the robot back. That was a huge rock coming out of Unlogic's, able to cancel the flux and limit the damage, the initial damage there, coming on to NYIT. So let's see if NYIT is able to gather and and figure things out again. Unlogic's coming up on the flux and Dabmaster on a pulse bomb as well as Unlogic's. He's actually he's going right into the back line. He has no care in the world for this team as he's going right behind with Dabmaster. Almost able to find the man. Drops dangerous low. There's Ram on the side of SNHU. That's a free flux to the side of NYIT if he's able to put it down. Will he use it? Dabmaster is going to take that out as SNHU is currently stuck in this portal. And Logic's dropping dangerously low though. Five is going to be able to find one. Primrun is going to be able to find another. So even though it looks really good for NYIT, SNHU is able to find the back line. But the trick here is that NYIT is pushing the robot back slowly towards their side. The enemy has claimed the robot. war is the name of the game here. And Logic has to die and regroup with his team. He's just staying up. I don't know why he's staying up here. I don't know who kept healing him, actually. But with that, NYIT is now regrouped. And SNHU once again control the robot. Back and forth here, three minutes left on the game clock here as SNHU now has three ults to NYIT's three. So who will use ults the best here as Lord gets pushed out of position and gets taken out. Huge boop off the side of uh, SNHU as one trick is able to take down Lord. SNHU now a player up. Are they going to be able to take control of this? They will. Grimrun finding another icicle to the head of Dabmaster. 
DPS are down for the side of NYP is Flux and Wait, was Flux cancelled? Flux was cancelled! Flux was cancelled! Both Sigmas cancelling their doppelgangers. Flux here in this match as Lord is only going to be able to find the immortality field on the side of SNHU. Big anti coming out of the side of Pepin now that he's on Ana. SNHU losing drums. That's a big support off the field for the side of SNHU. Window is going to come out on the side of, NY of, of SNHU as well. It's going to put down a lot of damage here. They have to be careful. Fives is going to be able to find one. And here comes Blizzard. That should all but secure this point as five, 3k. He's going to be able to find four. Dean is going to be able to find the fourth as SNHU once again in control of the robot. 75 meters and counting to NYIT's 112. The name of the game here is either complete the map or have the most distance by the time the, the, the timer ends. So NYIT still in the lead, is still able to push, but that golden bar on the ground there is the lead condition as it looks like Mortar Strike is coming in for SNHU. Gonna be able to find the lamp. And gonna be able to find two! Huge Mortar Strike coming out of the side of, of SNHU. He's gonna be able to secure the push and that might be the lead flipping to SNHU here. And YIT trying to swap to be able to secure this win. We now have Dab Master on the Ash. He's been on the Ash for a minute now. Trying to get some damage down. Get a sixth player. Both support ults on the side of NYIT. And there comes the first. There comes two. They're secure. They're, they're deciding to pop both alts here for the side of NYIT. See if they can use that as some form. Momentum and or SNHU now again in this corner. As Bob is going to go in and cause havoc. Will Bob find anything here in this room? Fives is going to take out Bob. So Bob is no longer but Lord. And the Logics are going to jump in. to find two. And one trick is going to find in Lord. So currently even on the sides of both. One trick is going to find two. The supports on SNHU starting to do damage themselves. And Logic is going to find one. And it looks like NYIT. All they have left are supports. Will that be enough? That is enough as the supports and the Logics on the Sigma are able to secure the robot once again. 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds left, SNHU did take the lead, 130 meters, so we are in final fight territory here for both teams, and the big thing here, Blizzard is online for SNHU here. All they need to do is drop that, and they should be able to secure it. The window coming out is going to be able to stop NYIT from pushing. 12 seconds left, they're going to have to get on this bot soon. They have to wait out the window, though. What will they do? There's the Flux to try and keep some of them off. The times two, is it going to do anything here? It does find a Logix. That's a tank down for NYIT. They have to fight 4v5. There's the, the Blizzard. And that should all but secure the map for SNHU. Pepino goes down. Super goes down. Crimrun gets a 3k. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to map five. NYIT so close to being able to bring that back. They just could not figure it out at the end as the May Cup coming out of the side of SNHU worked for them just as much as it worked for NYIT as we are now tied up heading into map five. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we are here in the first map five of this season on Numbani. Just a quick recap of how the maps have gone down. Map one, Antarctica went to the side of SNHU. Map two and map three went to the side of NYIT. And map four on Coliseo went to the side of SNHU. So we are here on map five, do or die for the win to see if SNHU or NYIT can remain undefeated in the series, or in the season. Ready for battle. Yeah. Looks like NYIT is going to be opting for the Sigma Bastion comp with Mord on the, uh, on the Echo. Super and Pepin are going to be playing the uh, Baptiste and Mercy. 
I love how I call him Pepin when his, you know, I could just say Pepino, but is what it is. SNHU is going to be going for their dive as they're going to be playing dive on defense and most likely offense. Crim run and fives on the Genji and the Sojourn. Gamer tag back in on the Kiriko and one trick on the Ana. See if Lord is able to find a first pick on this pocketed Echo here. NYT looks like they're going to get ready to fight on the high ground. As Lord jumps in onto the back, he's going to be able to get Genji dangerously low. Alonji is actually going to find the first pick. Gamer tag is going to go down. Looks like Lord is going to fall off the map. <laughs> Lord is actually going to save himself as Alonji himself finds three. Dabmaster is going to find, or no, Dabmaster is going to find the third. And Alonji is going to find the other two. On my screen, I was watching Lord about to fall off the map. So I don't know what you guys were seeing, but I was about to make fun of Lord if he would have fallen off the map, not going to lie. NYT able to capture the point rather quickly here as we now enter the streets phase of Noombani. Pepin is going to res Lord here as SNHU is just scrambling to get to the back here. Now SNHU did struggle a lot when it came to uh, Lord's Echo. They did have to swap the double hit scan comp like they do now. And so far it has not proven much triple hit scan with the Alari. So same swaps from before. See if it proves to be successful this time around. The big thing here, Alari is able to put down a lot of damage for a support, a ridiculous amount of damage. SNHU fighting in this room, Pylon is gonna get taken down rather quickly here. As Lord is gonna be able to separate and take out Krim Run. Krim not finding much success here on the soldier so far as lord is gonna get taken out finally by fives he might get rezzed up but the rez is too risky as he gets taken out Eppin gets taken out by fives as well two down for the side of nyit snh is gonna start pushing forward nyt is still trying to maintain control the logic's gonna be able to take out one but gets quickly taken down by his doppelganger and that should be nyit returning to the drawing board Dean is gonna find Lord as he tried to dive in and get ready to pop that ult. Unfortunate timing for the side bears as they have to wait and not take this fight 4v5. Alari on the side of SNHU now has ult. Most ults are gonna be coming online soon. NYIT has three going on four, and SNHU about to get that Sojourn ult online. Overclock is gonna be huge as Fives has been able to find major success on here. It looks like Dabmaster is gonna be able to pop the ult. He's going to find one. Not going to be able to find anything. The Alari ult comes in. He's going to be able to find the Immortality field. Copy is going to come in. Two Sigmas now on the field for the side of the side bears. One trick is going to take out Epino. And that is a support down for the side of NYIT. As this Sojourn is left unchecked on the high ground. Lux is going to come out on the side of SNHU for some reason. That is a waste at all on the side of SNHU. He's not able to build that up quickly. As that fight was all but lost. SNHU using two ults, NYIT using three. Not able to find much success there. SNHU still has the Tac Visor, the Sojourn ult, and the Window. All three super deadly ults. Has Dab Master <laughs> switching to the Torbjorn. Hammer Bros on the field today. On Logic, still with that Flux, he could find some success here with that ultimate as long as he's not shut down like he has been in the past. But that attack visor is also a great counter to that ultimate to stop any momentum here. Primbrun is going to be able to find one. Fives is going to be able to find Super with her secondary fire. Fives is going to be able to find a second. Dean is going to be able to find another. And just like that, NYIT's push is halted in its tracks. Two minutes, 24 seconds left on the clock for NYIT to be able to complete the second point of Numbani. Pepino dropping dangerously low, about to die to that ult. Or to that damage coming in from SNHU. Lord has now switched to the Genji. We see a couple of swaps coming out. Genji Blade is probably going to be the win condition here for NYIT. As SNHU is still sitting on four ults. Three ults, almost four. First ult popped in the fight is going to be on Logics. Or going to be uh, 
fives rather with the soldier ult. Gonna be able to only find the turret so far. Not gonna be able to find much more. Crimrun is gonna find the, the lamp. And here comes the window for the side of NYIT, placed a little far back, so the NSNH is gonna be able to disengage a wasted window there for NYIT. But gonna be able to get some walking power as it looks like SNH is trying to wrap around and find the back line of NYIT. I wonder if they're aware of this. Amari is gonna throw the ult into the back. He's gonna find a few. Finland is gonna find a few as well with the attack visor, but Lord is gonna find two, and Logic's gonna get a third. Dabmaster gonna take out the pylon, and NYIT is currently up in terms of numbers, but Amari is known to carry team fights on her own. Will she be able to get out there? She's won and done. NYIT against all odds, able to find the second point. Two minutes, 28 on the clock here. As Flux on the side is Dragon Blade. Nano Blade is coming in on the side of NYIT. See if Lord's gonna be able to find anything. He does find one. He's gonna be able to find a second. He does find two. He's gonna be able to find a third. Dabmaster finding the third. Five is taking him out. Dabmaster continues the carnage on the Torbjorn. Get the hammer kill. I dare you. Get the hammer kill, please. Nope, no hammer kill. He's serious about this. I'm not. <laughs> NYIT with forward momentum. SNHG using all the alts that they had. Here comes the Torbjorn ult being able to put down Lava on both sides, getting some damage as they come out. And Lava's gonna be able to find five. Flux is gonna come in on the side of the NYIT. Gonna be able to find anything. But that doesn't matter because NYIT is able to capture all three points. And this time around with a minute 39, minute 29 on the clock. Zero to three. Switching sides. Initiating match. Few key swaps coming out of the side of NYIT is able to continue the momentum forward. And this time around, unlike the last two push slash hybrid maps, they finish with a good amount of time on the clock. Minute 29 for a full complete uh, map. And the big thing here, Numbani, a very big dive map. But so far, NYIT has been able to hold off SNHU's dive almost to zero on the time clock a few times. So we will see exactly what NYIT decides to do here as it looks like a full counter dive comp is coming out on the side of NYIT. Quick little swap back to the Sigmas. It looks like the shield is a little better than the Javelin. Lord is going to be on the, on the Echo. Dabmaster is going to be on the Torbjorn. So not as anti-dive as it was before, but it worked in attack, so why won't it work in defense? Looks like SNHU is going to opt for the full dive as we Five, knew they would. SNHU four, should be, or NYIT three, should be able to read this here. One. Attackers incoming. Three minutes, 59 Defend seconds on the clock. Eight. That is the time that NYIT has to full hold to be able to take this series 3-2 or hold them at any point in the map to be able to take this. Dusting off. Ford is going to be up in the air trying to figure things out. The big thing here is NYIT is going to have to be careful to not have a target that is diveable because that is what uh, SNHU is going to be looking for. A single target that they can jump on and burst down. As Deathmaster accidentally gets a shot onto Fives' head. Fives just ran in front of Deathmaster and there went his life. Unlogix is going to take a small nap here as the sleep does connect, but Lord is going to be able to jump into the back line, take down the gamer tag. One trick is going to take out his doppelganger, but that doesn't matter. Primrun is going to be able to take down another. It is back and forth right now, I say. Dabmaster is going to be able to take out the tank, and it looks like Primrun should be taken out by Lord. A good hold on the side of NYIT to be able to hold the first dive, as it looks like Fives is now challenging Lord to a Echo Duel. What's the what's the what's the saying? Mockery is the is the the, the best form of flattery, whatever, however it goes. But it looks like so far SNHU has uh, has started to see that NYIT has success on a lot of these comps. So they're like, why don't we try it too? They tried it with the May, now they're trying it with the Echo. So who knows? 
So far, no real ults on as the dive is now initiated onto an anti to Logics. Fine is going to be able to find that, but Lord is going to be able to take out Criminal in the process, dropping dangerously low here. Pepino is going to be able to take out the tank on the side of SNHU. One trick is going to be able to take out its doppelganger once again. Lord should be able to secure the kill on the Ana as he's fighting her in the back. SNHU is now in the corridor as well. Dabmaster with the Torbjorn is going to push forward into this Kiriko. Will he be able to find the kill? Maybe. Maybe not. 24 HP picks a Kunai to the head, but he's able to survive. But that's a key... That is a key uh, lamp off the field for NYIT. But it doesn't matter if SNHU can't regroup as Lord is able to take down his doppelganger. So far, fives on the back end of this duel. Alts are now online for both teams as Path is now online for SNHU. And Copy and Torbjorn alts, Molten Core, are now online for uh, NYIT. Window also coming up for Super as she should be able to pop that and put a lot more damage down onto NY or onto SNHU. There comes the dive for SNHU to see exactly who they target. Big Anti onto the SNHU is going to stop the momentum in the tracks. An unlucky copy for the side of NYIT as they copy the Ana, get nothing out of that. And the copy on the side of SNHU also proving inefficient. But it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, NYIT comes out on top on that fight. 60 seconds left for SNHU to crack the code and try and find something here as they have four ults. Key here is going to be that Genji, that Nano Blade, coming online for the side of SNHU if they decide to wait for it. They could ult, they could Nano the, the, the monkey if they do not want to wait. But NYT also still having three ults with the Torbjorn, the Window, and the Flux. Dive now coming in, but big anti again onto the monkey. Nano goes on to the monkey, as we said. But Dabmaster dropping the alt is going to be able to find two. And Logic's going to find another. Lord is going to find another. 22 seconds left, as all that's left is a very, very angry monkey on the point. But it gets taken down very quickly. <laughs> 13 seconds left, final fight territory for SNHU. Will they be able to get here? They should be able to touch with that Genji Blade. But will the Genji Blade get anything as Flux may be able to shut that down quickly? Overtime tick is now here. Lord is going to be able to take down one. They're going to another. Here comes the Blade. Is it going to be able to find anything? It finds one. It's going to be able to find another. It finds two. Supports now down for NYIT. The ball and the Genji in the air. Gonna be able to get taken down. All that's left for SNHU is the ball gets taken down. Dabmaster wanted to get the hammer kill, but it does not matter because they hammer the final nail into SNHU's coffin. And that is it. NYIT takes the match 3 2 against SNHU. Play of the game. Five's putting a hell of a show on for SNHU, causing NYIT to sweat a lot in this match. But at the end of the day, NYIT comes out victorious with a 3-2 scoreline against SNHU to remain undefeated in the ECC season. Congratulations to the Cybers. That will do it for myself in the casting booth. Once again, I am Guadarica, the manager of Overwatch at NYIT. And thank you so much to Casper as well for doing the observing work. We will be back next week with another exciting match of NYIT Cybers action.